TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. Let's check in on the markets. It's a relatively calm morning with the major indices currently slightly in the red. You've got the Dow futures currently negative by 19 points, trading at 24,641. S&P is negative by two points, trading at 2707. And the NASDAQ futures negative by three points, trading at 6887. All the indices off less than one tenth of a percent. Let's jump over and check out the VIX this morning as we had some negative action in the markets yesterday. Finally seeing a spike to the positive side on the VIX, spiking just above 15, 1501 this morning, looking to open just under that area of 1487. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform and check in on some of the futures markets with 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. So start things off with the Dow 30, currently Approaching pre-market session lows, trading 24,623. NASDAQ 100, not quite at the lows. We've had a little bit of volatility, about 20-point trading range overnight. Let's call it from about 68.80 to 69.05, currently near the bottom of that trading range, 68.84. S&P 500 making new lows for the pre-market session as we speak, currently trading at 27.04. Gold contract continuing to suffer. Gold trading below 1290, currently trading at 1287.97. Pretty remarkable that only a couple days ago we were up there at basically 1320 or even above that level. So a tough, tough day for gold yesterday, and it doesn't seem to be stopping just yet. Crude oil with some volatility this morning, just under $71, trading at $70.93. Hour and a half from right now, I'll be live with Tom on the air for the 10 o'clock program, and we will have those EIA numbers, inventory, see how the crude oil reacts to those, and Bitcoin with some volatility as well, trading lower overnight, approaching the 8,000 territory, traded down to about 8,100, trading a bit higher off those levels, 83.62. In terms of fundamental news this morning, so we had housing starts totaling 1.287 million in April versus the 1.31 expected, slightly under. So not too dramatic. And it is still earnings season. Macy's coming out with their earnings and shares, quote unquote, soaring. And let's just jump over and check out Macy's this morning ahead of the opening bell. Macy's closed yesterday, 29.93, spiked up to 34, but looks to open around maybe 32. Stay tuned, Larry Pesamento coming up right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We'll have those oil numbers, live programming all the way through five o'clock. Have a great day, everybody.